What's up, YouTube? You know what time it is. It's Invincible time, my favorite time of the year. So we have the new Invincible Compendium hardcover edition that just came out. Um, we're gonna do a video comparison and stuff like that. That way, I've been getting a lot of requests for like, you know, what's the differences and stuff like that. Honestly, there's no difference at all with the comparison, with the Compendium. But I'll just show you all the formats that you can collect and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so we have the, basically we have the Ultimate Edition right here, which is volume one. We have the, with, we have the new hardcover that just came out the compendium. We have the old Skybound compendium. So this, these are both volume one, surprisingly. This is the first 48. I believe this is the first 48 issues as well. You can see the difference in, in the paper. Maybe oh. it's thicker or something like that. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, so here's the old Skybound hardcovers. Here's the front. And then here's the spines together. And then here is the, uh, the back. So you have a, quite a bit like uh, more modernized art or just looks cooler. I feel like this one looks really cool. They yeah. added, added more details in there. I don't have the uh, Invincible Volume 1, so I'll compare it to the Compendium Volume 3. So the pages, I would say maybe, if you can even see it, could be yeah. just uh, like a centimeter taller. And it really is only because of the... The edges of the, uh, of yeah. the book of the yeah, and the heart yeah, the hard cover itself is there. I compared it with our wet one. We did we did have a wet one. The yeah, and the only difference uh, for the compendium compared to the soft cover is just it's gonna have the the bookends right here. So the bookends and then the uh, the new cover right here. And it'll just be hard cover. So it's not oversized or anything. Still the same format. Even the paper quality is the same. The text and everything is the same. So. If you are on a budget and you don't want to splurge too much, you know, stick with the uh, stick with the uh, trade paperback. Uh, yeah, the trade paperback compendiums. But if you want to collect it in hardcover format, then definitely you know pick this one up. We also have the the ultimate edition as well. So let me take out the dust jacket for you. So this one is basically the same size as a normal omnibus would be. So as you can tell, oversized artwork and stuff like that. Same same difference. So. If I were you, you want to collect the entire series, I will get it in the Ultimate Edition because you get the artwork right here. Let's flip it to the first page. I literally just opened this uh, Ultimate Edition. So you can see just a little bit of the oversized artwork on this one. Let's see if I can put it on top of each other. Yeah. This compendium is mine, so don't worry about bending it. All right, there you go. See, so you get basically like an inch of extra artwork here. Yeah. And the, the, for the Ultimate Edition, I like the covers that it's different colors. Yeah. And, uh, you know, when you line them up together, the spines look really cool together. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, they really look really cool on the shelf uh, when, if you get all 12. But, yeah, there you go. You can see the comparison. And I don't, I had a, a library volume one, but then it got wet when we had a flood. Yeah. So I believe this is volume three. So careful for spoilers. I'm open to one page. You can see the difference in the oversized artwork compared to the compendium. But they did not finish this line. I'll just show you like the comparison. Yeah, the library isn't fully complete. All the other yeah. ones are complete. It goes up. This is issue 25. Yeah. Right? Yes. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so uh, yeah, so right here, <coughs> it has 144 issues. And this one, I forgot how much the library goes up to. I think but the library is only like... Something. This is volume 3? Yeah, this is library volume 3. But you can see the difference here. That way you can see. The, but there's probably only 12 issues, man. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, only 12 issues. Okay, cool. So yeah, this one collects up to, this collects the first 48 issues. Um, I believe they're going to make three of these. That way you can get the entire collection. Here, I'll open up the page for you too. And you can see the issues, everything's basically the same. Let's go to the back as well. And you can see that there's like no extras at all. I believe the library does have extras. So, yes. So I'll show you real quick over here. So you can see the issues. I'm going to skip to the very end uh, of this one, and you can see it's right here. Um, yeah, and the issue 48, and then right here, and then the bookend, and that's it. So no extras, but you get the library editions, the, the, the three of them. You get some sketches. Storyboards, black yes. and white panels. Yeah, black and white. So you get quite a bit of extra, actually, wow. Yeah, and I, basically I think the, li the library is, is, you know, it's almost like the absolute one. Yeah, you get Bigger the Bigger format, yeah. better page quality, and mm -hmm. more additional content. So yeah. if you really want to collect them, those that's the way to go, but it's not complete. So yeah, yeah, just be aware that it's not complete. 
uh, for the library edition, but you have really cool extras. So you had to get library editions one, two, and three, and then continue with ultimate edition seven through 12. That's what I did. <laughs> <laughs> and this is by far, I would always say this is my favorite series of all time. If you never collected this before, you definitely should because I have a lot of statues of yeah. Invincible, have I, I a lot of things. I cosplay as well. <laughs> I know, I'll be, a, I'll, be, I'll be the Mark Grayson cos <laughs> cosplay. You see me at Comic Con one year. I'm like, oh. <laughs> but yeah, so definitely uh, pick, pick this one. You can pick this one up at organicpressbooks.com. I would. I will say you won't be disappointed if you ever read this one. It's my favorite comic of all time. It may be yours when you first read it. And hopefully you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you in the next one.